Hello, and uh, I'm here to explain how a grammar works in Prologue, and also how this Prologue can have grammars written in it, which explain how grammars work. So here we have grammar one, and that list uses this symbol to mean that there's a grammar, there's a grammar being called, which is called compound, and compound in turn has the whole has a grammar associated with it, which it starts with a open square bracket, then has compound two, which is down here, and then another closed square bracket, and uh, inside compound two we have either an item and a compound two, which, go, which means more items, or just a, the final item. So it keeps on recursing through that until there are no more uh, items. And of course, item can be a word, a number, or in fact, item can be a compound. So that means we can have more of these square brackets with more item, comma, items, or just item in it. Now, uh, I'm just going to show you this prologue, which right in which we can write down these grammars and uh, at the moment they're in an educational state which means that you can see exactly how they work in a similar way to C because there's no uh, additional code apart from uh, just the expansion of the string concats. So uh, we have in this case test 13 a string which is open bracket a comma a close bracket and we want to return that same string but just as terms instead of an atom so when we run up here it passes don't worry about that warning um and then i'll show you what happens when it's, and that actually returns because it's, it's returned the two A's, see how the uh, input is the, is the two A's in the list and then the output is, is this series of terms. So I'll just show you what how it does that. And uh, it does do it. This is the complete one. Um, which has all the extra traces in it, but I hope I edit that out. So that's that. See, here we have the down the bottom. The result is these A's here, and uh, it, it in the verify script it can tell that it's passed for those A's. Now, two more tests to check, and then test 14 we have uh, an open bracket and uh, a and that of course gives out some gives that just with the a as a string inside this term this list which has a single term a in it so if i go up here that passes and then i'll show you what it's like with the Trace. You can also turn off uh, having to press C and it all prints out automatically. So here we have down here the result A. And then finally, in this larger example, longer example, we have this lo long grammar, but it's longer because it uh, takes open bracket, string of open bracket, open bracket, A, close bracket, comma, one, close bracket, so it can take hierarchies of strings, so obviously you can guess what, what the output will be, it, but, the, but keep in mind that numbers don't have strings, so it's open bracket, open bracket, A in strings, and then number one with the as terms, so I'll just show you. This takes a long time to run, by the way. That one passed. It's got a lot of warnings there, but they're just uh, interim. And then I'll show you 
Test 15 with uh, Trace. It's much easier to program than it is to analyze, to, than it is to um, read these traces, I can tell you that. But uh, the traces are actually quite useful for debugging. And then we have here the string A and 1. And uh, that concludes this video. Uh, I'm in the future I'd like to add in the, that in the future uh, um, I'd like to make it more like ISO prolog with prolog like ISO prolog so that you might have a phrase command which means that there'll be no inputs that I can tell but um, hopefully that will be an extra this will be an, I'll be able to keep this feature and that'll be extra on top thank you bye